Welcome to Dumpster Diving, where we look at something horrible from the past. Today, small wonder. The episode begins with the parents getting ready for a date. Mom is cleaning, but Dad says the babysitter is only 15 and doesn't care about a clean house. Dad also mentions that he likes that his wife isn't a teenager, which seems like a case of protesting too much. Mom would be wise to be on high alert. Their son Jamie then walks in and says he fixed Vicky's neck. Cue terrible 80s TV special effects. The mom tells Jamie not to make Vicky do that because it probably hurts her. Dad tells her to chill and to treat Vicky like a soulless metal demon, just like in all the great works of dystopian science fiction. Nothing could go wrong. In the kitchen, Dad explains to Jamie that they're going to a reception his robotics company is holding for a new robot arm that can open and close a car door. The project that Dad is working on, a robot arm that can simulate polishing a cucumber, is still a secret. Mom says the babysitter is sick, probably with gonorrhea from the last time she babysat and drank the funny-tasting milk Dad offered her. Jamie, the 10-year-old, says he can babysit himself. Dad says no because he doesn't want Jamie finding his metal fetish magazines, but decides to program Vicky to be the babysitter. In the universe of Small Wonder, programming a complex robot has nothing to do with code or hardware, but simply means speaking. Without Jamie realizing, they give Vicky a set of rules to make him follow. Rule number one is don't open the door for anyone no matter what. Rule two is that Jamie has to be in bed at 9 o'clock. And rule three is Jamie must do homework before watching TV. These rules are woefully inadequate, and Jamie wastes no time in exploiting the loopholes. First, he forces Vicky into slavery by making her do his math homework. Next, he tries pimping out his own personal Skynet by offering to do all his friends' math homework for a dollar each. At the party, Dad tries to call the house, but Jamie turns Vicky into a $50 million answering machine. Jamie sees that a movie is starting at 9, but Vicky tells him he'll be in bed by then. He challenges her, and Vicky uses some pretty bad green screen to show Jamie she's serious. Thwarted from watching Skinamax, Jamie tries to quell his hormones with a milkshake. He tries adding an egg to the mix, but Vicky crushes it. I know it sounds weird, but we did use eggs and milkshakes in the 80s. Our attitude was, if AIDS doesn't get you, it might as well be salmonella. Jamie has learned from his dad and insists that this girl have a drink of his concoction. But even though Jamie is apparently smart enough to work on the robot's neck, he's also dumb enough to not realize that getting electronics wet is a bad idea, and that robots can't taste anyway. Her circuits get damp, but all it does is give the sound designer a chance to work with a synthesizer. Harriet, the neighbor, comes over, and they try to pretend they aren't there like my family used to do when my deadbeat uncle came over to borrow money. Harriet says her babysitter fell asleep, so Dad's roofie must have found its way next door. They tell the annoying neighbor to go away, and her contractually obligated one scene is over. They decide to watch a music video, and Vicky starts dancing. Jamie asks, who taught you to dance? Michael Jackson. She's the right age for Jackson's type, but probably the wrong gender. The parents come home because they remembered that work parties without booze are lame, and the door is bolted. Vicky won't let Jamie open the door because the number one rule was don't open the door for anyone. Even though they just opened the door for the neighbor girl, and Dad could just reprogram her by talking to her. All of a sudden, now you need to press a red button on Vicky to change her commands. He instructs Jamie to do it, but now it's 9 o'clock and Vicky drags him to bed. Dad crawls through the window like he was planning to do with that sleeping babysitter next door and gains entry into the house. Dad makes Vicky release Jamie without pressing the red button, showing that the show's rules have about as much consistency as a Comcast internet connection. Thanks for watching this episode of Dumpster Diving. Don't forget to subscribe, click that little bell icon to get notified when new videos come out. Come back every Tuesday for deleted chapters from famous novels, and every Thursday for more episodes of Dumpster Diving. Check the description for our social media handles and websites of interest. Thanks again for watching. See you next time.